How's it going folks? Taylor Bukowski here. In today's video I'll be explaining how to get your puppy to not chew on your feet and your ankles. Now the idea for this video came up because a couple of folks are having some trouble with their little puppy constantly chewing and gnawing at their ankles and their legs and just causing a lot of problems so I told them I would help them out. So the first thing I would do when teaching this puppy not to bite is First off, I would pick up all the toys in the house. The reason why I don't want the toys being around 24-7 is because after a while the puppy just learns that they're there and they lose their meaning. So if you pick them up and only take them out during certain times like playtime or training, then the puppy will enjoy those toys a lot more. She'll learn to appreciate having the toys out when they are out versus having them out all the time and they get boring. Later on in life, you can feel free to leave them out as long as you want uh, when she's stopped biting and chewing um, or you know as long as they keep their reinforcement as a reward. Or you can always have a system where you pick out toys and have certain toys on certain days um, and use them as rewards. Now first thing I would do when working with a puppy that's very very mouthy and very bitey with very sharp teeth is I would sit down just like this. Sit down on the floor nice and comfortable, your, your legs in pretzel style and you're just chilling. Now you might want to have a clicker or a marker word if you want, it'll just help. Um, and some treats with you. So you can use the treats, you can use the toy, but they've kind of lost their meaning. So I would start off with some treats. Either way, you want to find something that's the most rewarding for your dog. So I would sit here with my clicker and whatever the reinforcer is, say it's treats. If she's just walking around me, click and reward. If she's still walking around, click and reward. Click and reward. If she's just chilling here, click and reward. All these times that I've been clicking uh, and rewarding is the timing that you should have with your puppy. Um, she will depend on how high of the rate of reinforcement is, um, you know, so she will kind of dictate that depending on how quickly you need to reinforce her for not chewing on you. So say she's chewing on me and she stops or she just walks up to me and she's not chewing and I can reward her. Say I click and reward, she gets that treat. A few seconds go by, hmm, she gets a little bit bored so she goes to chew on me again. I could have continued to reward and reinforce that behavior before she got to the point of boredom and she started chewing on me. Now you could use a toy too, of course, but for her, in this particular case, she doesn't seem to be super excited about the toy. Um, she is a greyhound mix, so she is she has a high prey drive, so she likes to watch her feet go walking by. So sit here like this, if she's walking around clicking and reward, be super chill about it, you know, pretty boring, just clicking and rewarding. Um, you can tell her good girl or you know, give her more praise, uh, but don't get her super excited, super hyper. You know, click and reward again, and then end your session there. And then you can even try later on having one foot out. Just put one foot out, click and reward, click and reward, reinforce her, reinforce as long as she's not chewing on the leg. If she chews on the leg, the leg just goes back in here and we're nice and calm again and we toss treats away from us uh, so that way she, she learns to give us some space or at least stay away from the legs. Eventually you can have two feet out. You can sit like this, you can sit like this, um, and maybe you can even move your foot a little bit. So this would be pressure, it might entice her, and this is release, you're gonna calm her down. You can click and reward for that, so move your foot once, just so she gets used to the movement of the feet. I know this sounds really redundant, really, really overdone, but depending on how high the dog's prey drive is and how much they've been chewing on these feet, sounds like this is the pace you might need to go. Um, then you can start by standing up. Now, don't expect to walk anywhere, go really fast. We're not running, we're not dancing or tap dancing or anything like that. This is all prey drive. You know, even walking around, she's gonna to wanna to chase the feet. So just try standing there and then clicking and rewarding. The same as you would as if you were crouched down or you were in, uh, you know, cross-legged. And then maybe take a step and then click and reward and wait a couple seconds and then take another step. Click and reward, click and reward, reinforce. So this is pressure. We're going to entice her and get her excited. And this is release. What I've been doing now, just standing still, is release. I might move again. And as long as I'm sitting here and talking to you, this is the timing I would be doing if I were working with a puppy in person. Um, you know, this amount, even though I'm, 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 even though I'm splitting up my attention by talking to you all, um, the timing that I have here is what I'd be doing with the puppy. If she goes for my feet, and I might stay here longer and reward her. And all this time I'm also clicking and rewarding while standing still, even when I'm moving. Then you can start doing a couple of steps, you know, two steps, three steps. Um, go for a line and then sit there and, and wait and be calm. And as long as she's calm, you can click and reward. Then when you can start walking around the apartment, um, you can you know, walk and toss her a treat or a toy, you know, um, as she's being nice and calm. Now in the beginning, I would use the treats, you know, just to get her reinforced for that. Then you can start using the toys for uh, leaving your leg alone. Uh, you know, if she does equally fine with a toy, the toy has now got its meaning back because it's only out during training or playtime. 
um, then you know that will have more meaning just as much as the food and you can fade away from the food um, whether it's treats or her kibble or a mixture of both you know some little jackpot items in there when she's more interested in the toy then you can use that for reward for leaving your feet alone um, and then when you play with this toy you want it to get you know, exciting. Smack it on the ground, throw it in the air, toss it, slide it, um, let it wiggle, um, you know, let it be more interesting than even your hands or your feet. If she happens to go for your hand, just pick your hand up, take your attention away, and sit there and chill. If she happens to go for your feet, you okay, bud? So once the toy gets its meaning again, you can use that in regular playtime. You can use it when you're walking and you can toss the tree away from you or the toy away from you. Um, and then eventually she'll be, you know, it, it'll just be reinforced enough that that behavior will pretty much go extinct. Another great thing is if you are playing with her and you're using her toy as a reward and, and you're just playing or you're just working with her, whatever happens and she starts to chew on you, you could ask your partner to uh, call her away and maybe they have a toy ready or a treat ready. So they're teaching the dog not only to come when called but also leave this alone uh, without having to even tell him anything. So they're, they're leaving something alone that was a toy, so it's kind of a leave it and a recall at the same time. Um, but she doesn't have to say anything. Just call your dog over, hi sweetie, make kissy noises, whatever you do to get them to come on over, uh, just like it does. Good boy, you can come. Hi, Bubba, come on. Good boy, yay. And then you want to also be sure to reward. Click and reward for times when your dog is being nice and calm and relaxed. Um, just like um, Adonis is here, you know, he's he's always relaxed. He's never really been much of a leg biter, but uh, he was pretty rough and he was a baby. Um, so try doing that. Try having your partner call the dog if you can, if it helps. Um, so both of you are going to have to keep an eye out on the puppy when she's out, obviously. Uh, keep an eye out for the other person and how they're doing. The, you know, the puppy might need to be called away for an instant. Um, if you can't get her to be redirected away from you. And then try practicing with uh, a higher pace, you know, if you're walking a little bit faster or maybe you jump once or so, just to kind of desensitize her overall to not go after feet. And both people, uh, anyone in the household needs to practice the same thing um, and be as consistent as you can. Um, everyone in the household needs to practice the same thing. Try to be as consistent as you can. Uh, just keep trying different things. Uh, most of all, we want to teach her that the, the legs and feet are nothing to go after, but a toy is great. You know, that's much more fun than the legs and the feet. Try getting a new toy, something that, that she hasn't played with before, and then rotate that in with her other toys. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you all out, and anybody else out there who's having trouble with their puppy chewing on them all the time. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Um, and if there's any other ideas that you have for future videos. In the meantime, try to stay as calm and consistent as you can. I know it's really hard to stay patient, but keep working with her and eventually you'll get there. She's teaching you to be better pet parents and better trainers. Until next time, stay positive.